Former President Donald Trump is accused of trying to overturn the results of the 2020 presidential election in the state of Georgia. Late Monday night, in a, grand, a grand jury in that state handed out an indictment against the former president and several of his allies. It's now the fourth criminal case that Trump is fighting as he runs for president again. Christian Benavidez has more details from Atlanta. Former President Donald Trump is facing new charges, this time in the state of Georgia. The indictment includes 41 felony counts and is 97 pages long. Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis pursued the case charging Trump and 18 of his allies, including attorneys John Eastman, Rudy Giuliani, and Trump Chief of Staff Mark Meadows. Trump himself is facing 13 felony counts, including violating Georgia's RICO Act, a racketeering law used to take down major crime organizations. She likes it because she can wrap together a lot of activities with a great number of defendants and be able to bring in evidence against one that then spills over onto the others. The RICO Act charge alone carries a mandatory minimum of five years in prison. Trump says he will present a report next week alleging election fraud in Georgia in 2020 that will clear his name. Trump slammed Willis during a campaign rally in New Hampshire last week, calling her a racist and said he did nothing wrong. I challenge the election in Georgia, which I have every right to do, which I was right about, frankly. And they want to indict me because I challenged the election. Georgia Governor Brian Kemp posted on social media Tuesday the 2020 election in Georgia was not stolen. He added that nobody has been able to prove claims of fraud in a court of law. Christian Benavides, CBS News, Atlanta. Former President Trump and his co-defendants have until next Friday. I think I said earlier this Friday, but it's next Friday, August 25th, to turn themselves in.